This is a quick look at the GT Media V7 Plus set-top box combo. This is a combination DBVT and DBVS receiver. That means it will receive free-to-air digital broadcasts and uh, receive RTV uh, with a blind manual tune at 445 decimal 5 megahertz frequency providing the repeater is uh, transmitting at the time. It can also receive DVB-S signals in the 23 centimeter band. If for example you want to test a transmitted signal on the other side of your shack or receive a signal from another ham station on the 23 centimeter band. This is a high definition desktop box receiver decoder with full HD 1080p with the standard features you expect in a modern set top box. Many of these set top boxes in the domestic market are not easy to tune or don't tune at all. And some of them, uh, or many of them don't cover both the T and the S signals. This unit does both. If you're thinking of getting into ATV, this is a good versatile ATV receiver. If you intend to purchase this combo receiver, make sure you purchase the V7 Plus version. There are many models in the range with similar names. It's buyable wear. The model number on this unit was Papa 51 Sierra Tango Charlie P51STC. The front panel is very simple, it just has power switch, channel indicator, plus and minus uh, channel selector buttons. You would use uh, the comprehensive uh, remote control to access most of the settings and functions of the receiver. Look after it. I can't see how you could use the receiver without the remote control. There are the main connections on the back panel are the power switch which controls the 12 volt supply and there's a DC socket for the supplied AC adapter. There are two USB ports for recording, playback and firmware updates etc. There are three analog connections for composite video and audio left and right channels, one HDMI HD output. The rear panel has two RF inputs, one for satellite reception and the other for terrestrial reception. Once you've connected the cables to the receiver, switch the unit on and the installation program comes up. Please note that there is a review of this model on and how to guide it, how to uh, tune it for amateur 70 centimeter frequencies in the Boulder Amateur Television Club News, November 2020. I'll put a link for this in the video notes when I upload it on my YouTube channel. This is a screenshot of the receiver on switch on. After a few moments the uh, installation screen appears if you have no channel installed yet. Select the satellite list. The factory default listing of satellites appear. Uh, the, the, I select the add, create a new one, new satellite, input the name, in this case AAA, very original, and add that satellite. I usually change, uh, accept all the uh, defaults except for the LNB power setting, which I change from auto to off, as I don't like uh, to have power on the uh, input uh, port. You get, then go to, you save this, and then you go to the search screen and use the default settings for a blind search. At this point, make sure you've got the local transmitter running and have a basic wire antenna or similar on the NMB port close to the driver amp uh, that you're transmitting through. 
the uh, 50 milliwatts local transmission is quite adequate to tune the receiver. I find you don't have to have the power amplifier on. It takes about two minutes, uh, but I've sped this up to save time. I always seem to get two channel entries, one vertical and one horizontal for the same transmission. If you inspect the channel list, you can see the two channels and have the options to rename, delete, renumber, etc. They both seem to work the same. In this tuning sequence, I've only tuned the satellite channels. Free to wear is similar and much more straightforward. I purchased my units uh, from eBay for about $70 each. Supply was quite quick, taking less than nine days to arrive when I ordered it in early January 2021. If you search GT Media V7 Plus in your favourite search engine, you'll find out where you might be able to supply, you get a supply locally.